that come through our area. So they just yes. pass through Tennessee. It's headed straight to us. In and out in a hurry, though, as you see behind okay. it. Yeah. There's some wet roads, but it's that leading edge of these storms that you can see some of those strong wind gusts. The good news for us, at least, it arrives late this evening. Temperatures start to cool a bit. Those storms will start to weaken some. So our threat is lower than it is to our west, but still some stronger storms developing through far western uh, North Carolina, the upstate, North Georgia. Every yellow box you see there is a severe thunderstorm warning, and that entire line right now, severe thunderstorm warnings from North Alabama all the way up into the northeast where they have a few tornado warnings. The threat of tornadoes will stay to our north. It's not much of a concern here tonight, but as these line of storms rolls in, a strong damaging wind gust threat and a pretty high threat for this time of the year, especially off to our west where they have that three out of five, a four out of five areas up near DC where they throw in the tornado threat on top of the wind gust threat. For us, we are looking at a line of storms that arrives late this evening. It begins to weaken as it approaches the Grand Strand because it's arriving so late. It may not be until 10 to 11 o'clock tonight. You lose that daytime heating, the storms start to weaken. Doesn't mean it's completely zero to the threat of severe weather, but the strongest threat, the greatest threat for those strong winds will be for areas in the Florence, Darlington, Marlboro, Dillon County, up and down 95, a little bit lower into Horry County and Georgetown counties. Now, future radar showing that line of storms beginning to enter areas along to the west of Interstate 95, 7 to 8 p.m. And then after sunset, we begin to bring that rain through Marion County, interior Horry County, 9 to 10 p.m. here along the Grand Strand, potentially even a little slower than that. It's that leading edge where we have the strong wind gusts, and then we'll see some steadier rain behind it. But it's in and out in about 45 minutes. Not going to drop a lot of rain because of the movement, but the strong winds are what we need to watch. Notice by midnight, it is all offshore. We'll take a break from the rain chances as we head through the next couple of days. So the tornado risk, it is low, but you start to look at the wind threat. This is where we start to see the concerns for those strong wind gusts, especially inlet of Horry County. Hill threat, not a concern. This is what we need to watch here as we head through tonight. The rest of the week, one thing that won't exit, the heat. We've seen the heat index climbing into the triple digits today. The muggy meter goes even higher by the end of the week and into the weekend. There is a lot of heat in this forecast. You'll notice for tomorrow, temperatures climbing into the low 90s, 91, 92 degrees here along the Grand Strand. Not a lot of rain to speak of. One or two showers tomorrow. That's about it. So we get these storms out of here. Doesn't really take the heat with it, but it takes the rain chances out. And that heat will continue to build this week. Catch a brief break through midweek and then begins to climb again. 102, 103, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, hitting 105 again by the end of the weekend. Moving into a long stretch here of summer heat and eventually some better afternoon storm chances as we move into Thursday, Friday. That won't be in the form of severe weather, but some afternoon pop up storms for the end of the work week. Moving into the weekend, we clear the rain out, but keep the heat going. Temperatures hovering around 90. Those areas inland of the waterway, mid 90s, feeling more like 105 as they move closer to the weekend. And we're dedicated to keeping you updated on this first alert weather day. Our certified most accurate weather team will give you updates here on WMBF News all afternoon. Then at 630, Chief Meteorologist Jamie Arnold will walk you through the forecast during first alert live. You can watch on Facebook or your WMBF News app.